Hey, good morning everybody. Logan Kirk here with RockyMountainMysticMan.com. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little different than I haven't done before, and that's because we're going to be cooking something over the fire. Not just anything, not making anything fancy. We're making cowboy coffee, because it's morning time. It's wet and dreary, and you know what? I need some coffee. So uh, I got some coffee in the bag here, got everything we need. We already went out and collected a little fat wood to start the fire little kindling we should be good so why don't you come on over here with me next to the fireplace and let's get some cowboy coffee rolling what do you say well first step in this process is we need all the materials right so uh, got some river water from the big thompson river went out split a bunch of fat wood i got so much of this stuff out here it's insane but it's great for starting quick and easy fires in the morning Right. I think I got a few more chunks than that in the haversack. All right, and I also brought some of my coffee, Mr. Don Francisco Vanilla Nut, good for the morning time. I think we'll try it out. All right, we're also gonna need a bushcraft pot because, well, that's how you make cowboy coffee. And uh, other than that. Now we'll need our fire starting kit out of the haversack. Which, as always, if you know by now, keep that thing in a plastic bag. Well, fire starting kits should be kept dry so that you can easily get your fire going. So, now that we've got all the components to our coffee making, we need to uh, get it done. So, first thing we gotta do is we gotta get a fire rolling, which means we gotta scrape up some fat wood. So, as usual, I'm gonna speed the camera up get this fat wood pile going so let's make it happen well that's a nice little fat wood tinder bundle that's all we need Ooh, that stuff smells good enough to eat I don't know if I do that but man it smells good in the morning all right That damn thing hit me in the face. So this is what I do. Make it easy. Guaranteed fire so that I have guaranteed coffee. Oh, the knife smells good too now. Everything smells piney. All right. Well, let's get this stuff over onto the fire. Get the ferro rod out. And uh, let's make this thing happen. Let's do it. All right. So we have our little bird, tiny, tiny little little bird's nest of our shavings from the fat wood. We've got our kindling and everything set up, so now let's just get this thing started here. There it is. Ah, oh, it's too early in the morning to be doing that. Oh, here we go. Get this wood built up. Make sure that we can still get enough oxygen in there. That's the whole point, you know, because fire needs fuel and oxygen. We got plenty of all that right here. All right. There we go. Look at that. That's nice fire. Nice fire. I'm gonna add a couple larger pieces on there real quick. like to use a little bit of the previous campfire previous day's fire wood in there as well a little damp it'll dry out though under that fat wood this will make a nice bed of coals to get get cooking on throw some brushes in there too as well and there we go move this stuff because it's highly flammable yeah, let, let that burn down a bit and then we'll get the coffee ready. So now we got to prepare the coffee pot, which is a pretty easy part. First off, take the lid off, take my little, little single man eating utensils out of there. 
We got coffee. We got water. That's all that's required for cowboy coffee. Now sometimes, if I'm out in the bush for a long time, I'll actually take pine needles off the ponderosa pines and add those in there. It kind of adds a little sweeter flavor to the coffee. This morning, though, I just want some vanilla nut coffee from Don Francisco. Oh, give it to me. We'll get there. We'll get there. So, all we do, we add the water in. Now, the important part is you got to remember we're bringing this to a boil. So, you don't want to fill it up so high that when it starts to boil, that it boils over. There we go. And that Big Thompson water is so clean. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't drink it unless it, you know without boiling it first, but it's just glacier runoff from Rocky Mountain National Park. It comes down and it's just amazing. So the trick is now is that we want to bring the water to a boil before we add our coffee grounds. So let's get this set up onto the tripod over the fire and uh, we'll bring this water to a boil. Let's do it. All right, we got some nice coals going here now. We can use the grill, but I just like to hang it on to 550 cord. That way I can adjust the height as it starts to boil. You know, just make sure it's nice and the right temperature and I can adjust the positioning better with this. I'll just tie it up over the fire. Let's see the fire's a little more that way, so we bring it here. And you have to remember that with the fire, that you want it to be about, you know, Right, just about two, three inches above it. That's the hottest spot on the fire. Tie this up loose here. And we'll get that fire going up a little more. And then we just have to do the whole waiting part for the boil. And you gotta remember, the higher elevation you are, the harder it is to get things to boil. It just takes a little bit longer. That's okay. We're gonna move our fire over a little bit. There we go. Let me get this thing going. Yep. This is the life. I'll get that pine out of my coffee. Batwood pine. Good stuff. That looks like she might want a little oxygen. Let's do that. And you might notice that doing a little, what I've been referred to as a redneck hippie trick. Take your fingers, make a little diamond like this, put it in your mouth and blow and it creates a stream of air. Really good for stoking fire pits when you got long hair like me. Or you just don't want to get too close because it's super hot and you got a raging fire going, but. Oh, this is nice. It feels good out here. It's getting pretty. It was chilly last night. It's wet. So coffee's gonna be good. So let's uh, sit down on the bench and well, let's let this happen. You know, one of the best things about being a mountain man <clears throat> living out here and being able to do this on a daily basis, you know. And I realized, and mind you, we're just waiting on the water to boil, that I should have showed you how I made this bench because I just, I throw these things together, you know. You get some green woodworking is what I do. Got shaved horses and I build all kinds of crazy stuff out of wood. It's part of the thing about bushcraft is being able to make something like this. Now the other half of this log I still have sitting here behind the camera and I'm planning on splitting planks out of that and building a uh, table for over here by the fire because you know, you got a nice bench, you need a nice little table, right? But the ground sloped here, so this is kind of like the best way to build chairs for this kind of an area, you know, it's what's gonna work best, so. <laughs> I'm just messing around. But, yep, add a little more fuel to that fire. Oh, we got some little bubbles. But you know, that's the thing is that 
when we get our water from the river, you gotta boil it, sanitize it, because you can get Cryptosporida, Giardia, all kinds of nasty bugs in there that can get in your guts and make you dehydrated because you're puking and doing stuff out of both ends. It's just not good. It's just There's so many things that can go wrong, you know, and you gotta remember, up here in the Rocky Mountain National Park, we've got giant herds of elk. I mean, I'm talking giant herds of elk because they know they can't get killed out there. So they congregate in downtown and stuff. And, well, they, they poop and pee in the water. <laughs> so, you know, not you don't want to get that beaver fever, man. It's just not, it's a real thing up here and you don't want it to happen. So, oh, waiting on water to boil. Yeah, waiting on the water to boil. But what are you going to do, you know? If you want coffee, you got to do it. So, oh, that smells good. Yep, this, this piece of wood here, I, you know, I left the Cambrian layer, left the Cambrian layer right on the outside when I was shaving it down. Kind of help with, with the drying out process, not let it crack. Maybe it'll last a little longer, we'll get a couple seasons out of it, you know? Gosh, but that, that's, that Cambrian layer underneath on that pine, you know, that's actually edible. We can boil this down, we can eat it if we have to. Nature's kind of funny that way, is that, you know, in the modern society and modern world, you know, it's all full of carbohydrates and no nutrients, right? Well, nature is the exact opposite of that. Nature's full of nutrients and not a lot of carbs. <laughs> but, you know, you need your nutrients. It's very, very important. Uh, you know, and that's why eating the meats, hunting, growing food out here, and getting, uh, getting at sources as many as you can is important. But, all right, well, I'm gonna tend to this fire. We'll get some water boiling. We'll get on to the next stage of making cowboy coffee with the mountain man. All right, now that we've got this water at a nice little roil, that's when we wanna add our coffee, because that's the whole thing, is we wanna boil this coffee in this hot water, and you wanna add it when it's hot. I don't know why, that's just the tradition. Now, obviously, I don't have a horseshoe, so I can't test the strength. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know if you know that joke or not. We're gonna add our coffee. And here's the thing. You might be saying, Logan, man, there's gonna be coffee grounds in your cup. No, there won't be. That's not how it works with cowboy coffee. When we, uh, what happens is, is as the water boils, the coffee grinds, the coffee uh, gets all wet, soaked up, and then we'll take it off the fire and we'll let it sit for about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, and cool down to an appropriate coffee drinking level. And then all the grounds will slowly settle to the bottom and we're gonna pour off some beautiful, dark, rich, vanilla nut Don Francisco coffee out of the bushcraft pot. So let's let that happen now for a minute. And, well, cowboy coffee is a slow process. It's not something you rush. As you can see, we've got this thing at a nice full boil. This is what you want, right? This right here. This is what you want to see happening right there. That's pretty good. We're gonna let this happen for just a few more minutes and then we'll, uh, I'll show you how I take it off the fire. My little method that I use to take my bushcraft pot off when it's super hot and I don't wanna burn myself. Uh, yeah, getting burned out in the bush just isn't fun. Well, this coffee's been boiling plenty long, so let's take it down and I'll show you how I do that. First off, we gotta get our 550 cord loosened up from the top here, the tripod, the top of the tripod. Oh, that coffee smells so good, I'm ready to drink it right now, but we gotta wait. It is a hot pot of coffee, I'll tell you what. A little trick I learned a long time ago. 
taking stuff off, but... There we go. And we'll set her right down there on the ground. Oh. Put our 550 cord up back on top here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's looking good. So now we've got to let it cool down so that all the grounds will settle down to the bottom of the bottom of the pot and we can pour off a nice cup of coffee. So give me a few minutes here and well, it'll just be like half a second to you, but I'm gonna wait a few minutes and pour off some coffee. That'll be that. Oh yeah. Oh, it's time to have some of this coffee. I'm ready for it. Let's pour some here and see how she looks. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful, dark, rich coffee. Man, I tell you, there's something special about this coffee. Not the Don Francisco vanilla nut. That's just, you know, whatever. My wife got that at Safeway. But, uh, little spider out of there. <laughs> ah, spiders, yum. Uh, there's something different about Cowboy yeah, coffee. You see when it's boiled with the, with the grounds and everything are boiled all at once instead of adding to the hot coffee, you don't have that bitterness. It's just a smoother, it's just smooth, you know? Gotta love it. Oh man, that's quality, that's just good. There's just no better way to make coffee in the morning. You know, and I understand sometimes you get in a rush, you gotta go to work, right? Or you gotta do something. So you got your French press or you got your auto drip. But that's the nice thing about being out here is you take the time in the morning, make a nice pot of cowboy coffee just sets you up right for the rest of the day. All right, well, everyone, as always, thanks for hanging out with me. And if you haven't already, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Come on, subscribe, just hit the subscribe button. And then also, that notifications bell! You gotta hit that notifications bell because that's how you find out when I put out more of these Mountain Man Life videos. And, uh, you know, I just, I just wanna say it again. Thanks for hanging out. And you guys, you know what I'm gonna say now? I'll see you soon.